Today, I'm going to introduce you to the 588th Night Bomber Regiment of the Second World War, also known as the Night Witches. Nothing struck fear into German hearts quite like the mention of the Night Witches. In fact, if a German soldier managed to shoot one, they were automatically awarded the Iron Cross Medal. This all-female platoon flew under the cover of night in planes made of plywood and canvas, with their bombs attached to the wings using wire. They had no radios or radar, leaving them virtually undetectable by Nazi forces. They were nicknamed the Night Witches because the whooshing noise their wooden planes made resembled that of a witch's broomstick. Soviet women were previously banned from helping in combat, but as Hitler launched his invasion of the Soviet Union, otherwise known as Operation Barbarossa, they became desperate, and so the all-female 588th Regiment was formed. Due to a lack of money in the military and the belief that women would only help the war efforts a minimal amount, they were given 1920s crop dusters to fly. The planes were never meant for combat. Composed from plywood and canvas, the planes offered no protection from the elements. In the cruel winters, the planes were so cold that even touching them would tear off the bare skin on your hands. However, on the upside, these planes flew a lot slower than Nazi planes, which I know doesn't sound like a positive, but it meant they were far more maneuverable and, as such, very hard to target. However, if they were caught in the enemy fire, they really only had one option, duck. These planes were not equipped with any form of defense fire, and so the pilots would have to pull the crop dusters into a dive in hopes of losing the enemy. The planes could only carry two bombs at a time, one on each wing. In order to make up for the restriction of bombs they could drop, the regiment would send 40 sets of two-person crews a night, each performing between eight and 18 missions. The regiment dropped more than 23,000 tons of bombs on Nazi targets during the war. The reason they only flew at night was because the bombs weighed down the already flimsy planes, so they would have to fly at lower altitudes, which meant they would have been easily spotted by enemy forces if flown during the day. The planes flew in sets of three. The first two would go in and purposefully attract the attention of the Germans. When all the searchlights were aimed at them, the two pilots would swiftly separate, flying in opposite directions and maneuvering wildly to shake off the searchlight. The third pilot would then fly in the dark path cleared by her two teammates and hit the target practically unchallenged. She would then rejoin the other two and they would switch places until all three had dropped their bombs. As Nadia Popova, one of the night witches noted, it took nerves of steel to be a decoy and voluntarily attract enemy fire, but it worked very well. The German army had their own theories as to why these female pilots were so good at bombing them. They believed these women were hardened criminals, practiced at being deceitful felons and sent to the front line as punishment. Their second belief was that they had been genetically altered so that they could see in the dark. The Night Witch's last flight took place on the 4th of May, 1945, where they flew within 37 miles of Berlin. Three days later, Germany surrendered. Despite being the most highly decorated unit in the Soviet Air Force during the war, when it came to the big Victory Day parade, they weren't included because their planes were just too slow. Remember, if you liked the video, be sure to let us know and subscribe for more.